A reading from Wild Mercy. Laying down our burden, keeping the Sabbath holy. Here, come here. Take a moment to set aside that list you've been writing in fluorescent ink, the list that converts tasks into emergencies. Items like feed the orchids become, if I don't accomplish this by 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, the rainforests are gonna dry up and it will be all my fault. Or, if I fail to renew my automobile insurance, I will probably crash my car and everyone will die. Or, this friend just had her breast biopsied, and that friend's brother-in-law beat up her sister, and my aunt just lost her job with the symphony, and my nephew is contemplating divorce, and I must call them all, and listen to them for an hour each, and dispense redemptive advice. Gather your burdens in a basket in your heart. Set them at the feet of the mother. Say, take this great mama, because I cannot carry all this shit for another minute. And then crawl into her broad lap and nestle against her ample bosom and take a nap. When you wake, the basket will still be there, but half its contents will be gone, and the other half? will have resumed their ordinary shapes and sizes, no longer masquerading as catastrophic, epic, chronic, and toxic. The mother will clear things out and tidy up. She will take your compulsions and transmute them, but only if you freely offer them to her. Shabbat Shalom, my loves. Whether you're listening to this on the actual Jewish Sabbath or not, I want to wish, wish you a peaceful Sabbath. May you find a way to weave this practice into your life so that it refills your cup, so that it sustains you. And I wanted to talk to you for a moment about one of my favorite aspects of the, of the Jewish Sabbath. Shabbat, and in the mystical tradition, the indwelling feminine presence of the ultimate, mysterious, transcendent God is the Shekhinah. And I know many of you are already very familiar with, with the Shekhinah and with this, this um, welcoming of God as feminine in the mystical tradition of Judaism. And the Shekhinah really infuses Shabbat. Shabbat is said to be actually female. The Sabbath itself is, is an entity and she is feminine. Sometimes she's the bride, the beloved returned from exile, and sometimes she is the mother, that strong, rooted, connected, protective, unconditionally loving mother. So for today, I want to invoke that aspect of the Shekhinah, the mother, who is ample, who is abundant, who is entirely focused on you, but not in a cloying, smothering way, but rather in a way that is completely relaxed, at ease, spacious, she has nothing else to do and nowhere else to be but there with you and for you when you kindle the Sabbath lights, however you may do that, whether you literally physically light two candles, one candle, but when you welcome the Sabbath, when you, when you call in the Shekhinah, you are also laying yourself in the lap of the Divine Mother. And what I would like to invite you to do this Shabbat is to identify a couple of burdens that you are carrying in your heart right now that trouble you, that trouble the waters of your heart. And focus on those. Take a moment, maybe you want to write them down on pieces of paper or a single piece of paper. 
and just get clear about what it is that's causing you kind of discomfort, dis-ease in, in your heart, something you may be worried about. And when you light the Sabbath candles this time, lay those burdens at the feet of the mother. Really give them over and mean it. Be willing to release what is troubling you, knowing that she has the vast capacity to transmute the lead of your troubles and turn them into gold. Or if you wish, she can compost what burdens your mind and soul and turn it into rich soil from which nourishing plants and beautiful flowers may grow. So my loves, try that this Shabbat. Lay your burdens at the feet of the mother, Shekhinah, as the, the great sacred feminine that is happy to receive you, to enfold you, to hold you and soothe you, and to unburden your heart. Much love. Shabbat Shalom.